tequila. We should all drink more of it. <laughs> okay, now before I educated myself on tequila, when I heard the word, I just thought, spring break, body shots, poor decisions, and massive hangovers. <laughs> but after I educated myself on tequila, I realized that, yes, a night out drinking vast amounts could lead to some poor decisions, but in taking in moderation, it actually has a lot of health benefits. Before I educate you all on the health benefits of tequila, I want to make a distinction between two kinds. The kind that gives you bad headaches is the ones made in America, which are mixed, and it's like 50% of this blue agave plant and a bunch of other stuff, and that's what leads to um, you feeling like crap the next day, basically. And the tequila I'm talking about is the 100% blue agave plant tequila, which is authentic to Mexico, made in Mexico, and that's the one that um, has a lot of health benefits for you. All right, so tequila contains um, these agavins, which are sweeteners from a plant, and um, a researcher in Mexico from the American Chemical Society named Mercedes G. Lopez said that we believe agavins have a great potential as a light sweetener. Their sugar is highly soluble with a low glycemic index and neutral taste. This puts agavins in a tremendous position for consumption by obese people. And that's because they act as a dietary fiber and they regulate fat in intestines, they burn fat, and they make the digestive tract healthier. Um, what it also does is it strengthens bones. So screw milk, let's all just drink more tequila. Um, <laughs> it increases the body's ability to absor absorb calcium, so it stimulates growth of healthy bacteria, and it also increases protein levels associati associated with bone growth. And so it's good for people with like osteoporosis, which weakens the bones. And there is an experiment done with mice. Um, there's one group of mice who just drank water, and then one group of mice who drank water with agavins in it. And um, they, they, it showed a 50% increase in uh, the protein in their body that helped strengthen bones. So those, those mice were, their bones were a lot healthier, I guess. Yeah, so. Um, another thing is that I know um, a lot of, personally, a lot of my Mexican friends, when they're sick or like in pain, their like grandmas and grandpas tell them to drink tequila. And that's because um, it's a remedy for aches and pains. It dilates the blood vessels, which causes better blood flow, so it helps with tension, strains, and minor headaches. So that's why we should all drink tequila, because it's better for our health. It helps with obese people, and America has a serious obesity problem. It helps strengthen bones, and why wouldn't you want stronger bones? And it also helps with pain. So, and not only does it take sometimes emotional pain away, it also takes physical <laughs> You are 21, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>